Good morning everyone. Today is our second day in Granada. We woke up this morning and had some porridge. I always take porridge with me everywhere I go and we always take our own toppings and stuff. But today we are going to the Alhambra Palace, which is the second most visited part of Spain. So I am so excited. I've been looking forward to this for ages. So I'm actually having a bit of sock trouble <laughs> and I know it sounds really stupid but we're going to be walking around all day and these ankle socks like every time I'm walking they just keep like sliding down my foot and they're like halfway in my shoe so bless him Ronan's gone back to the room to get me another pair of socks. Gotta be comfortable if we're walking around all day. Thank you. Right. Now we've got the sock situation sorted. We've got a 24 minute walk to the Alhambra and apparently it is all uphill. So it's gonna be a tough one, but I'm excited just to have a, like a stroll around and see what's on the way. Cause I think when you walk into different places and you're in a new city, you do find new things across the way. Wow, How beautiful is this? That's the map of it all. So we're here. If we go up this way, that's the palace that we've got the tickets for at half 12. So beautiful. And we're not even in the palace yet. This is just like the entrance and it's just stunning. Hello. So we got in really quickly. There was no queue whatsoever. It's really quiet here today. It costs us 15 euro each for the ticket, but that includes everything. It's a lot more money if you want to buy a tour, but it's just fine to walk around yourself. And one thing to remember is that you have to bring your passport to have some form of identification. So when you do book your tickets online, they'll ask you to choose a time to see the Nazareth palaces, but that isn't the time to come here. So. You can actually enter earlier than the time you selected. You just have to make sure you're at the Nazareth Palace at the exact time that's on your ticket. And from the entrance, it does take 15 minutes to get to the Nazareth Palace. So make sure you do get here early enough. You can see all like the mountains from here and everything, it's gorgeous. You enjoying it? Yes, it's really nice. It's actually so beautiful and it is really quiet here today, which is nice because I've heard that this place like sells out tickets so quickly because it's so busy all the time. So it's really nice that we got in no problem and there's hardly anyone here. So it's just lovely. Wow, this is gorgeous. So we're just queuing up to go into Nazareth Palace and I think we're a bit early so we're going to see if they're going to let us in a little bit early. I think you have to have your passports here as well but I'm so excited for this bit. I've been researching this place for so long so I'm so excited to see what's inside. So yeah we weren't allowed in yet. <laughs> we have to wait another 20 minutes or so. There's not big queue today so we're just going to sit and chill and then just get back in the queue. And the second attempt. <laughs> so they let us in, but apparently we have to wear the rucksack on our front. That's Ronan's job. Are you pregnant? It's uh, triplets. <laughs>
probably all been done by hand, which is kind of impressive because wow. it's everywhere in the whole palace. Wow, it's amazing. Just imagine some guy going through it all. Yeah. Yeah, and it's literally everywhere. Everywhere. This is amazing. What the hell am I doing here? Like? <laughs> am I just here as a bag man or something? <laughs> Look at this. You've even found a place to store the water. I just need a straw here now, it'll be good. <laughs> Are you all right, though? Yes, having a great day. <laughs> oh, good. Yeah. Well, that's the end of the Nasrid Palace and that was absolutely gorgeous like it's so worth it definitely definitely come and see that but even outside the palace there's still so much to see like this whole place is so worth coming to and have a stroll around for the day I can imagine that you can spend like a few hours here so make sure you reserve like the whole day to spend here favorite part of my trip so far. Good. It's gorgeous isn't it? Yeah. I'm not exaggerating when I say this but I think this might actually be the most beautiful place I've ever been. Even like just the palace and stuff. Like I've never actually been to a palace I don't think but I'm just so impressed with this one. It's just incredible and the views are just really unique as well. It's not like any views I've ever seen anywhere else if that makes sense. Like all the houses are just like white and you've got your mountains and stuff and apparently like not at the moment but usually you can see Sierra Nevada where there's all snow all over the mountains and stuff so it's just spectacular like you have to come here basically having a lovely time mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. oh my god <laughs> there's so many stairs hello oh it's stunning I put my sunglasses on Hard work to get up here, but it was so worth it. Looking from up here, it's like so peaceful and quiet. It makes you feel like there's no one else around, doesn't it? Like we feel like the only people in Granada right now. Are you having a nice day, babe? Yes, excellent. Good. It was worth getting up early to come up here. Yeah, definitely. And it's um, it's obviously not as busy because of COVID and lockdown, but it's our win, so. Yeah. I couldn't have done this, so I wouldn't have wanted to do it if the place was packed. No, me neither. With too many people. You can imagine the queues are usually really big, people are pushing past each other, you can't get any photos because it's so busy. And we've not had that problem at all, all day. It's been fantastic. But as I said earlier, we've done so much walking today, so make sure if you do come here to wear comfortable shoes. And bring bottles of water as well, because we haven't really found anywhere, apart from the entrance, there was no, there's nowhere else to buy water or anything, I don't think, or food. Um, and they don't check your bag, so you can bring food in and stuff, so make sure to do that. pretty much it we've walked around the whole grounds i think it's been absolutely amazing and definitely worth coming to we're getting a bit peckish now so we're going to try and find somewhere and have a bit of lunch and then see what the rest of the day holds mm -hmm. 